All right, this is Calavos, and we are playing Minecraft, and this is Cuboid Outpost. So, see that I now have seven of the kelp, and now we have 13. So one we can eat. Let's go ahead and damage real quick. I, I put a couple of things through the watch them a bit, break stuff down see what we could uh, get out of it all right another two hearts we're amazing heart grew two sizes this day uh, so now else and we're just gonna go ahead and do this Oh, I needed the not this version. Thing. Let's check out bone. Oh. Forever. Those. We're probably going to need a lot of the kelp in the near future. Dried kelp specifically, I think. Uh, so now we want an andesite tunnel, which is going to be two more. Whatever. Okay. Tunnel. Boom, look at us go. So, uh, our next step is, uh, one of the things about Create is that it requires power. Um, not like RF generator power, but mechanical wheel sorts of power. So, our goal is to make a couple of these Water wheel, specifically. A couple of slabs. A water wheel. So the reason I made two of them, not just because I'm a goofball, but because and um. Um, and stack them like this. A compass. Oh, sweet. At least we can make it out of the... Speedometer. Grab some redstone.
have any Lucidium in here. Master Furnace. Is it? Thermometer requires, yeah, it's a compass, okay. Not ask me why it works like that. I do not know. So that the NPT data has to be exact. Um. <clears throat> compass, two shafts, and andesite casing. You should be able to cobble together a gadget that will measure the speed of rotation when attached to a shaft or other source of rotational power. Uh, one will keep, one will turn into something else. Um, stressometer. Important in any contraption to have an understanding of how much stress is being consumed and how much you still have available to play with. If you run out of available stress units, then your contraption will become overstressed and stop working. In many cases, it's simpler to have a stressometer attached so you can see what's happening at a glance and know when it's time to add more power through another water wheel or other source of it. Okay, so we've done that. So let's go ahead and make a fan. So this is one of the primary things in um, the fan is actually one of the, the primary processing things in um, create. Uh, the cool thing about the fan is it's got multiple different uses. So if we uh, put the fan down, uh, it will smelt stuff that passes in front of it for free. So that actually looks really good. Uh, that smelting involves cooking. Seeing like if there's anything specific that immediately catches my attention.
That gives us lime dye, which I know that we need lime dye for something in the near future. I just don't remember off the top of my head what it was. And if we add stuff. Um, the way this is going to work is like this. I'm going to do this. We need to do put the fan down. You if it's got a, a thing on the back. Like we could easily make it going this way, but if we want to turn it, um, small cogwheel. Pretty sure that there was a way to rotate this 90 degrees without like needing the um, that. I don't know. I guess this works for now. Um, I mean, we'll make a better setup in a second, but I just want to show everybody. What exactly we're trying to accomplish here. So let's get some water buckets. Backpack, water, now this isn't like the absolute best that it could do, we could better power-wise. Weird, I wonder why that, that... But what this does do, this will allow us to go ahead and say... Not the encased fan. Uh, encased fan. Wrong way. Oh, I've got a wrench. I've got a wrench. Watch this wrench. Where is my wrench? Ta da. So the point of the point of this is that if we want to got so much inventory. So assuming that we have this here, right? We go ahead and say nonsense like this. Uh, 
That was beautiful. I love that. All right, let's clean up this mess now. That was amazing. Um, it's kind of like that. I'm kind of thinking of making it a little chest here with all the create stuff. Oh my god, I hate the new water flow mechanics. They are super irritating. Okay. Yeah. Super irritating. I mean, they have some benefits in some circumstances, but... Anyway, so this has a purpose. We'll actually have to that. So with the white particle effects you can see, uh, that's how you know it's doing something. And boom, play, right? So looking at the fan, um, bulk washing. So magma into obsidian, soul sand into nether quartz and gold. Uh, means glass, uh, crushed tin makes tin nuggets, which is a little weird, but sure. I am amused how you can get a better than... Um, So yeah, there's there's a lot of like stuff that we can do with this. Sand will give us a dead bush and gold. That's specifically red sand. Wheat flour gives us dough. Oh my god. Look, look, iron, iron. Uh, I'm so excited. Let's just do this thing. Uh, all, all of it. We have a 12% chance. We're just going to go ahead. Oh my god. Can I, can I not jump? Oh, really? actually do this. Uh, okay, I can't do that. I can do this.
So iron. Uh, so anyway, what I was saying before was if we have one iron nugget, uh, we come here and we combine it with wikidium, it gives us iron grit, which we can just smelt into straight iron. Right? So, nothing there. I'm trying to figure out what it might have been trying to process with the man. Did it do anything with Flint? Flint. Maybe not. It doesn't matter though. So if we go ahead and grab some idiom Look at us go and now for our iron singularity singular we only need 160, so uh, it's too bad that this isn't faster, but that's okay because we have. Can we double it in the uh, smeltery? Taste of the rainbow. Uh, at this point, you have everything you need to bulk wash gravel. Doing so will dissolve the gravel with small chance of leaving behind flint and iron dug or nothing whatsoever. Two routes. Full automation. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a gearbox and a vertical gearbox while we're waiting for iron. If I put this in the... Alter. Let's get the one. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, but we have flint, which was a problem before. It is not now. Um, sad that I'm this excited about iron. But I mean, we've been trying for iron since the beginning. So I guess that's a thing. No, I'm very enthusiastically going to put some more flint down. Um, <clears throat> doesn't even take all that long. So what do we need for the gearbox? Four gears and and a side casing. And I do believe that we can just make a vertical gearbox. 
and got that that quest completed don't be anemic we've got more iron through Dust. So let's go. Now we're just going to double up our iron production. So we don't technically have to wash anymore at this point. Now, get rid of that. I unpin this. Okay, sweet. All right, we have finished another chapter. We've got all of the things. Task completed. Off camera, I'm probably going to finish this just so that we can get... Uh, gravel... So we haven't gotten Niter yet. And that's the only thing we're not having on this quest. Let's get rid of the rest of the flint. Uh, compressed sand can go away. Away. Man, look at us. Nine. Gravel. We'll need to move this out of here. Um, so yeah, we just need niter and we're done. Boom. And we got Lapis, yes. So I'm going to have to sieve for a lot of Lapis. I don't believe that there is a Sulfur Singularity, but there is a Lapis one. So I'm basically just going to between camera, um, between cameras, uh, between episodes, I'm going to sieve enough so that we can get a Lapis Singularity. Uh, clearly it's going to be very exciting since I'll have to do a lot of it. At least I won't have to break it. Um, so I guess there's that sort of nonsense, but I hope you liked the episode. If it did, leave me a like. If it didn't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns, they all go below. And, uh, yeah, have a good night.